Get south of the dirt, uh, here we go. Uh, can y'all really feel me? I got better girl. East Coast feel me. Uh-huh. West Coast feel me. <laughs> can y'all really feel me? Feel it. East Coast feel me. Say what? West Coast feel me. Uh-huh. Dirty south of the dirt, dirt. dirt. Can y'all really feel me? Do you have 4C hair? Well then this is the video for you. <laughs> guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you guys some of my go-to hairstyles just in case you're ever curious or if you have nothing to do with your hair, you can try these styles and they're pretty quick and easy. I picked some of my favorite ones that, you know, are low maintenance, don't take too much time and work on shorter to medium length hair. So if you are interested in seeing these hairstyles, then keep watching. So first off, we have the Bantu Knots, which I fell in love with. I think they are super cute. I'm not the best at actually rolling them, but once they're done, I just think they look so aesthetically pleasing, giving 90s hairstyle. Um, it's also a great way to practice my parting. So I do mine pretty big. I don't do them super small. I haven't tried them super small, but I do know your hair must be super detangled. And then you're basically just doing a rolling motion. The products that I use for this are leave-in conditioner and then I personally like to throw in a little gel just because my hair is pretty thick and kinky so I want to make sure it holds. just love how they look and I think that even if you're not good at rolling them, if you can get them into the little knots, that's a look within itself. And it's a great way to put your hair away if you don't want to wear a wig or if you don't feel like doing like a super slick style or anything like that I, you can do this really any length i feel like it would be harder the longer your hair is but i feel like it's really good for shorter hair to medium length hair because it's not a lot to curl it's not a lot to wrap Next we have the beloved flexi rods. I love flexi rods. I just recently did a video showing you guys my curly fro routine. I want to start trying different size flexi rods. I really just stick to the one. But again, I incorporate gel into almost all of my hairstyles just because my hair, that's just the way it like stays in place. Honestly, I've had the best results when I use gel versus when I don't, the hair comes out too fluffy. It doesn't come out, you know, in ringlets the way I like. But yeah, I love this style because I really get to stretch out my curls and do my little curly fro. And I think the hair is really cute. I am trying to think of a way to prolong this hairstyle because currently it really, um, it doesn't last me that long so i'm trying to find a way to make it last longer but we'll see okay so next we are going to create a little curly bang i love this style because it is a little bit slicked i am putting up the back half of my hair into a little bunny bun but i still consider this protective because like 70 percent of my hair is tucked away 60 percent but i'm gonna be taking a gel once again i told you we love gel over here but i am just doing little finger coils which this is my first time trying them so i definitely want to practice a lot more and really get to perfecting them but i love the way that they turn out um at first it's kind of difficult getting the hang of it but once you do it a bunch of times the repetition kicks in and it becomes really easy and then you're not going to be able to stop you're just going to keep going no matter how many times you curl and you think you're done you're just gonna go back and do it over again <laughs> but honestly i really love this style and then the beauty of it is that you can attach a ponytail or braid or you can wear your natural hair out and i actually had this ponytail that was with curly hair and it kind of matched the texture it wasn't exact but we faked it pretty well and I just think it's a really cute style. It lasts for a long time. And I think the curls turned out very juicy.
Okay, so I really truly wasn't gonna include this because I, Wash and Goes and me, we don't really ever, we're never on the same page. Um, I just mean to say I've never really perfected them. I think that I really I truly haven't found the right products that I like yet, but this is what it looks like with some Eco Style Gel in. Um, as you can see, it does have a white cast, which is something, it goes away over time, but it's still, it's not the most fun. And then this is how my hair ends up nine times out of 10. I will always just end up putting it in a bun. So we're trying to work, we're, we're working on wash and goes. The last style that I love is the ballerina bun. And this really, this goes for low buns, high buns. It's kind of the same routine and regimen. But I'm basically gonna be taking my hair and I'm making a little mushroom. I'm kind of taking the middle part of my hair, which is coincidentally the thickest part of my hair. And I am making sure to separate that and pull it back so my hair doesn't have um, a giant bump on it. And then I'm going to slick the surrounding hair back. So the trick with this style is placement. Obviously, if you do it lower, it's gonna result in looking like a low bun and higher, it's gonna be a high bun or a high pony. So ballerina buns are kind of to right towards the back of your hair. I'll put a picture here for reference, but I just wanted to make sure that the placement, I was all good. But this is me just slicking back my hair and then I left my baby hairs out so I could put them down afterwards because sometimes it's really hard for me after I've slicked my hair down to bring out baby hairs because once I slick it honey and that gel gets in my hair it don't move so I have to make sure to take out a little bit of hair for the baby hairs just so I can make it cute and also yeah you can see my little indent that my scarf made on my hair on my head permanently so annoying that happens to me so much but it goes away usually after a couple of hours that is gonna be it for this video today be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you want more natural hair videos let me know what hair type you guys are give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye